Hi, good morning. Um, this is Deb from Bowl Me Over, and I want to introduce you to my very best friend in the world. This is my niece, Chloe. She is visiting from Walnut Creek, Walnut Creek, California. So she's here with us for the week, and we're going to do fun stuff. Yesterday we cooked, uh, we made fudge, and today we're going to go see the Secret Life. The pets. Secret Life of Pets, so that'll be super cool. We're going to the water park. We're doing all kinds of cool things, and um, it's been a blast. I, I treasure my time with Chloe because she's super cool. We have so much fun together. So we, um, on the way down from Sacramento, we picked her up in Sacramento, and we drove to um, here in Fresno. Chloe taught me a couple things. <laughs> and uh, before I go much further, if you're tuning in live, um, type a like, a heart, um, say hi to me, say hi to Chloe, uh, ask any questions you want to ask and, and definitely <laughs> let us know, let us know that, that you're here and you're watching us, that would be great. But one of the things uh, Chloe taught me, taught us on the way down was um, how to take a foot selfie. So if you've never knew how to take a foot selfie, I thought this was pretty cool. Show us your thing here, she's got an iPod and um, this is something she learned online, found online. She's a real YouTube kind of gal. <laughs> and um, she glued two, uh, no, two, two suction cups? Yeah, two. Suction, two, yeah, two, two big suction cups together. And um, with that, so you let it dry, and she decorated with some cool mm -hmm. stuff on the back. And with that, you can stick it on your toe and hold your foot out and time it and take a great selfie. So. <laughs> There you go, there you go. So if you didn't know how to do that, here's a great DIY project. And looks like um, Christy's turned in, tuned in, and that would be Mom um, from, I can't remember, Mountain View. Mount, no, which is the name, name of your town? Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek, I always say the wrong, wrong thing, yeah. So anyway, so Mom's tuned in, that's super cool. Um, the other thing that Chloe taught me was a new phrase, and I, and I have to admit I never, um, no jumping beans, yes, thank you. <laughs> I had never heard this and she said that we were, um, oh, that was so kawaii potato. And I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> and she goes, that's kawaii potato. And I said, what is kawaii potato? And she goes, that means fabulous. And, and I told her, I said, you're just making that up. And she goes, she goes, no, I'm not. You can Google it. And of course, you know, we do. We're driving down, it's a three hour drive. We have all the time in the world. And so if you want to be in and hip with the kids, then you need to make sure that you, um, you just say, oh, that's extra fabulous. It's kawaii potato. And if you work in a, a dramatic hair flip, then you're even cooler. So that's, that's my phrase to you. So kawaii, K-A-W-A-I-I -I, potato. Google, Google it and you'll find it online. So anyway, so we're having fun here today. And uh, what's that? Oh, who said hi? Oh, that's my cousin Sadie. My cousin Sadie has tuned in. She's in St. Helens, Oregon. I hope you're feeling better, Sadie. I got the apricot jam. Love you guys. Oh, and I sent her some apricot jam, and so she's sending me some thanks there. You're very welcome. I hope you feel better soon. Um, today, we're and I appreciate you guys commenting and stuff. That's awesome. Send a like, send a heart. Um, say hi to, hi to my best friend here. Uh, let, let us know you're watching. But today, we're going to make... Um, tuna pasta salad. It is actually one of the most popular salads on my blog, that and the onion pasta salad. salad. Um, and it's fabulous. It's my cousin, or I have a bunch of hearts going across the screen. That's awesome. Um, it's my sister-in-law Alice's recipe. Um, it, she's made it for years. It is just like one of my very favorite things. And I use, use your favorite pasta. Um, you can use gluten-free, um, you, can, you can use the, the low-carb pasta, whatever, whatever works for you. You can use whichever you prefer. I like to use the, I don't always pronounce it wrong, I have it there so I can look at it. Um, D, no, D La, no, D, D Tallini pasta, and it's the, the little pastas, little tiny pastas, but they're really good, and it kind of helps absorb um, all the flavors super well. So what I have here is cooked pasta. It's cooked. It's cooled. I put in about a teaspoon of you got another question? You said this got to go on the list. Oh, it, it's got to go on the list. Absolutely. I put in um, 
about a teaspoon of, maybe a teaspoon, tablespoon of olive oil. I know that's a big no-no when you're cooking pasta, but for this pasta salad, it's really good. I also sprinkled in about a teaspoon of seasoning salt. You can use Morton's, you can use Salad Supreme, whatever your favorite seasoning salt is, it just gives it a little bit more love. Um, and it's all about the flavor with any, any sort of meal. So here we have, again, chilled pasta. And it's chilled because if we use hot pasta, it would just suck up all the, all the dressing that we're gonna put on it. We don't want that to happen. So um, it's really simple too, and it's super easy. Okay, so I'm going to pull my cart back so you can see me just a little bit better as we start cooking here. Let's see. You know what, I think I'm just gonna adjust this just a smidge. It's hard to see when you're, <laughs> when you're doing this live. So, perfect. And I have my best friend here helping me out, so it's super cool. All right, so, um, what's that? She says she's my weirdo best friend. Yeah, I'll take her anytime I can get her. So what we have first um, is one pound of cooked pasta, and we're making tuna pasta salad. You can find the recipe on my blog at bowl-me-over.com. Just type in tuna pasta salad, and you'll find it. But one bunch, um, starting off with one bunch of green onions. And we're just gonna chop those really thin. And uh, my, my little best friend here, if anybody else comments, has any questions about the salad or questions about what we're doing or uh, comments about anything, don't be afraid to pop a note there. But we're just chopping this up and we're gonna use the greens and the whites of the, salad, of the uh, onions. It's like ombre and onions. What's that? It's like it's ombre and onions. It's, yeah, it's like ombre but onions. That's true. That's a very good point. It's fun when uh, when Chloe's here. We we always do a lot of silly things and um, and no matter what, we always have a blast. Yeah, the fudge we made last night. It was not my recipe, but it's chocolate chip fudge. No, it was chocolate chip cookie dough fudge. Chocolate chip cookie dough fudge. It was Someone's crazy good. Someone said from Canada. I think there's a flag, Canada. Uh -huh. Hi, Deb and little one. Oh, <laughs> hey, Corey, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is my niece, and she's visiting us this week. So here we go into the pasta. Went uh, one bunch of green onions, and now I have a couple uh, stalks of celery, and so we're gonna slice that up really quick too. So sounds cool. It does, doesn't it? Um, Chloe said it sounds cool. So. Um, tell me, what's your favorite pasta salad? Is there a, a great summertime salad that you enjoy? Me? What yeah, what's your favorite? The olive oil. Oh, pasta salad? What's your favorite pasta salad? I, I this, one. this one? Yeah? Grandma makes it really good, doesn't she? So Chloe says this is her very favorite pasta salad too, so there you go. But we have fun together. All right, so almost done here chopping this up. This salad's good because it has the creaminess of the dressing. It has great crunch from the celery and tuna. what's that? It has tuna in it. It has tuna, tuna pasta. So it's, it can even be a meal all to itself. It is a tuna pasta salad. Um, good saltiness from the uh, olives and the Parmesan cheese. So it's our favorite, without a doubt. So, in fact, I always remember my cousin Kyle would uh, request it at the lake over the 4th. So, next up, just sliced olives. And if you, um, if I had whole olives, I'm sure Chloe would be dancing behind me with olives Eating on her them. fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I would do that. Yeah. So do it. And then um, tuna. I use white albacore tuna. It's drained really well. And, Chloe, could you grab me a fork? out of the drawer there. I just want to flake it a little bit before we put it into the pasta. Thank you, my dear. And yeah, do you want to flake this up and put it in there? Why don't you come around to this side? So Chloe's going to flake that up and add it in. I think that's good. Why don't you put it right in there? Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta love a meal that, that your kids can make for you. That works out pretty good, huh? So, tuna sandwiches. Tuna sandwiches, always a favorite. Um, there's something about the combination here. I, I kid you not, and it's better the next day. 
So here we have about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And for this, we're going to put in equal amounts of Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. So first we're going to do Miracle Whip, about three quarters of a cup. So, big spoon. Put it over the top. Here, there you go. Put it in. Now you need about four more of that big. Four more? Yeah. You need a lot. Yep. Too much, no, it's not too much. We need about three quarters of a cup. And that's about three quarters of a cup. And a huge cheese yeah, there's a huge cheese, cheese chunk. And we need the same amount of mayonnaise. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, I've had, actually, when you, when you read the comments on my blog for this one, um, people are like, oh, I don't like Miracle Whip. Um, can I use anything else? Can I just use mayonnaise? You can just use mayonnaise, but it's not going to taste the same. There's something about the, I think it's the sweetness of the Miracle Whip that really gives it. It's sugar to mayonnaise. Yeah. So maybe, maybe if you added some honey with it. Uh, Chloe said it's kind of like sugary mayonnaise. Well, that's kind of true. So as usual, I chose too small of a bowl to mix things yeah. in. Why don't you, could you reach down there and get that big yellow bowl yeah. out? This one? Yeah, yeah. Um, story of my life. I uh, start off making a small amount, end up with a super big amount. So perfect. Let me do that. Let's put that in there. Just trying to get everything going just a little bit. If you um, if you were to add this when the when the man, uh, when the pasta was hot. It would absorb all the pasta there, so and melt the cheese. And it would melt the cheese, yeah. So we want to make sure it's cold. And I'm going to add about a about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give it a bunch of cranks of pepper. Mm -hmm. um, five. Five. And how about five more? Perfect. Why don't you come around here and stand? So we there you go. So here here she is. Okay. Yikes. May need a bigger bowl to have. <laughs> What's that? May. It's a. Yikes. May need a bigger bowl to have. Uh, yeah, exactly. Story of my life, I tell you. And I think we're looking pretty good here. Bring, bring me some. Sadie said. Oh, Cousin Sadie, this might not travel very well. But you might be able to talk somebody up in your neck of the woods to make it. Um, I don't think it would make it all the way to Oregon. But just like that, the easiest pasta salad. It's a perfect light lunch. Um, it's better the next day. Just keep it nice and chilled in the refrigerator. And I could not tell you how yummy this is. I'm just going to dish up some right here. If you want the recipe, just go right to the blog, www.bowl-me dash over.com and uh, let me show you this real quick tuna pasta salad cooking with Chloe um, hope you have a great week um, I'll be back in touch again soon and I look forward to speaking with you any questions don't forget to uh, pop me a note and there's Chloe <laughs> say goodbye we'll see you soon